everybody. So I have a huge, giant scrapbooking haul for you today. This is going to take a little while. So uh, go ahead and grab uh, some drink of choice. Maybe hit pause, come back. This is going to be a really long video. I have just oodles of new releases here. So everything I'm going to show you, I either bought or is part of my design team order from a cherry up top. So it's all at a cherry on top. It's all ready to um, go now. So you can head over and shop if you like. I'm not a hundred percent sure about the cherry boxes. So it's the only thing that I'm, that's a subscription item. And I'm not sure that there will be any more in stock, but maybe. Um, so let's talk about the cherry box. The cherry box for this month is all Vicki Booten's Storyteller Collection and all Vicki Booten products. There's lots of fun stuff in here. Um, I'm going to be doing a little mixed media tutorial for you all. I'm probably going to shoot it this weekend and then you'll probably get it next week-ish sometime. Um, it kind of depends on how I go with it. So we'll see. So there will definitely be some of that coming. As you know, I do have a little bit of the Vicki Booten Storyteller stuff in my stash. So once I got the, when I got the cherry box, I then made another order of a couple of extra goodies so that I had enough because this particular cherry box is jam packed with stuff. So let's get into it and then see how we go. So we have... A set of art crayons, I got the cool ones. So these are shades of green and blues and really pretty colors. Here are all the colors, there's eight of them. Then there is this little bag that has my favorite of all time iridescent glaze. This means that now I have three of these glazes in my stash. So super excited about that. Sorry, my husband called. He's on his way out to get dinner. So there's a, gonna be a break in the video here. Um, so I sound all like weird, that's why. Cause I was just answering the phone and now I have to get back and get my head back into haul time. Okay, um, we have Vicki Wooten's Creative FX Iridescent Glaze. Like I said, iridescent glaze. Like I said, that gives me three in my stash, which makes me super duper happy. Cause I love it. All right. Uh, this is Vicki Booten's Silver Colourpop Paint. So I've never used this paint before. Um, so this will be a new paint for me. We'll see how it goes. Silver. And then I got, so this is the texture paste. So the big texture paste packs from Vicki Booten, she, they split them up. So you get one color. And I got the crazy yellow color. So we'll see how that goes. Crazy yellow isn't such a bad color, I don't think. It'll be all right. You get a palette knife. Always useful, especially. You get the entire Storyteller's Tag Journal. So this has, this is like the whole, everything you need to make the little tag journal. Another one of the design team members, Laura Alberts. If you, I'll link her channel below. She has a whole re product review on this tag album and what she did with it and how it worked and all of that. So if you've been around here for a while, you know I'm not, I'm not a big mini album person and I'm also not a big chipboard person. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna work or if I'm gonna keep it even, but we'll see. So that's in the cherry box. You always get this cute little card that has some really great tutorials. So there's a, some tutorials here about how you can use the texture paste, how you can use the art crayons, which is always really cool and fun. There are these super great stencils. You, you can get, there's two different options. Uh, you can get the scripty one or you can get one that has circles on it. I got the scripty one. So these are the Wild Soul stencils. I love this uh, like scripty font. That's going to be awesome. Very usable designs. Really like that one. You guys know how much I love my stencils. Stencils are awesome. So you have lots of st new stencils to play with. These are the mini cards and envelopes from, I think this is from Storyteller. 
And I really, 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 this is probably like the first thing I want to open up and play with because I'm super curious about them. So here. I didn't even know these were like, I haven't seen anybody else play with these. So I'm kind of like in awe of them. So there are these teeny tiny little, yeah, envelopes. And then inside is these little like journaling things. Interesting. Anyway, that's new. I just, I've never, never seen them before. I am kind of curious. If you know of anyone on YouTube that's used them for something, give them a shout out down below. Because I'm kind of, I'd like to see some, some uses for these. I mean, I'm going to invent my own uses for them too. But I'd like to see someone else's take on it. Then you get the entire... Storyteller embellishment pack. So I'll show you the back. I'm going to open some of the other ephemera packs as I go through. But I thought for this one, since this is not like super new stuff, you probably have seen them before. So there are the ephemera packs for Storyteller. And then you get a 6x8 pad of mixed media paper. So this makes me happy because I love Traveler's Notebook spreads. And I have a new kind of Traveler's Notebook size that I'm going to be starting a new album with soon. It's um, a life crafted album from Citrus Twist. And I have two of them, but I finally decided what I'm going to put in one of the two. So we're going to start working on that one, but more about that project later because some of what I ordered was specifically for that project. My nails came off, so I don't have all these pretty nails. <laughs> I'm going to let my natural nails kind of grow out a little bit and then maybe we'll get new ones on after a while. So this is Vicky Boone's mixed media paper four by eight inch. This is really thick paper. So and it already has like the starting spot of a mixed media background on it, but then you can layer more on top and it's really thick. So you definitely can layer more on top of this if you want to, but I'm super curious. I, I really want to use it in my, um, either my traveler's notebooks or my new like crafted album or in my me, myself and I project. Like, I thought be really fun and I also really like the idea of like putting stuff on top of it like stamps and things so that is what is in the cherry box for March just pop this back. these boxes are super awesome if you ever get a cherry box save your box because these are really fun to put like little care packages together for your crafty friends or your not crafty friends um, and they're really nice they ship real nice too so just FYI. Okay, so I ordered another pack of these puffy stickers. I already had one, but I needed another because these puffy stars are like just amazing. And then I ordered the layered butterflies. I had kind of been looking at them and they had been in and out of my cart a couple times. And so I thought, well, let's just grab some and see what I think of them. So I grabbed them and then I got some papers because again, I got all of this stuff and I was like, I'm going to need some more paper because the other papers, if you remember from my last haul, when it first came out, I just bought a couple sheets of paper and like fussy cut them and use them as embellishments. So I needed some more papers that I could use more as, um, backgrounds and layers and things like that. So I got this one, which is called memoir. So it has this black and white text on one side and it has this pretty like peach herringbone pattern. I got this one which is called pa Patchwork. I really really love this side. I think it's really pretty and those peachy colors are very very nice. So I really really like that. Um, if I don't, I probably See, I feel like I'm going to use this as a background, so I'm not even going to worry about the blue on the other side, on the back. It's just, I don't think it's going to get, um, I think this is going to end up being a background. I've got this composition, which is that beautiful rainbow paper that is all over. Lots of people use it, have used it, and made beautiful layouts, and I want to give one a try. 
the back is the polka dot. This one is called Stardust. I love these stars. They're awesome. I also really, really like this as a background. This one is called Mosaic. Love this in small doses. I think it's really pretty. I kind of really like the background too though, so we'll see. I like this side too, so we'll see what happens. Um, this one is called Vagabond. So you can see where I kind of went. If you've been around for a while, you know that I totally went for all of the latest colored papers I could find. Um, <laughs> I thought this was really pretty and fun, so I got this one, the Vagabond paper, and then this is called Moonbeams, and I got it for this side. And this one is called Narrative, and I really like both sides of this paper in small doses, so this is going to be one that I'll cut at six inches and kind of mix and match and use them all. And then this is not from um, Storyteller. This is from Let's Wander, but this paper is like so beautiful and I just needed more of it. So I went ahead and grabbed a sheet of that. So that's the first part of the haul is um, these Vicky Booten products. Now, if you watched my product lineup for March, you know I said I left space. I didn't choose 10 um, lines because I knew that this stuff was coming and I would want to use it right away. So um, this is going to be one of those lines that I will have layouts and projects coming up for right away. Okay, so next section of our fall video. Um, I got some more alphabet dies. So these are from iCrafter. They are called the Heather Lowercase Alphanumeric Dies. There's 36 dies, so you get all the number, all the letters, and then all the numbers. They also have um, a set of uppercase dies, um, but I, I might get them eventually or at a future date. But for now, I was really happy with just these lowercase dies and. The main reason I was like super happy with them is because of that font. So let me show you. Okay, so this is what I wanna show you. These are a set of thickers. They're called the Fancy Thickers. Super cute. Love this font. It's like one of my very favorite fonts of all time. Obviously, I mean, I, they're hard to find. Okay, this is that font, right? It is totally that font. So I went ahead and got, I mean, the, like these little swirly things, those are a little different, but just a little, but this is that font. So if you've been around here or seen hauls, you know that I recently decided that one of the biggest things that disappoints me in scrapbooking are thickers. They don't stick. You run out of valves. Drives me Crazy. They're like the biggest, biggest scrapping disappointment of my life. <laughs> you know, scrapbooking wise. So I am very slowly but surely grabbing metal dies and alphabets. And I'm not buying any more thickers. So that was why when I saw these, I was like, yes. I will never run out of thickers. I will never run out of this font that I love. They discontinued this one, so you're not even gonna be able to find it. <laughs> now, next up, we need a Fitzwilliam font. I'm on the lookout. I'm pretty sure I can find one. I'm hoping I can find one. Anyway, so that's my, that's my rant on thickers. These dies were only $16.99. If you are someone who does dyes a lot, you know that, or buys alphabet dyes a lot, you know that that is a fabulous price for all the letters and all the numbers. And I'm not worried about the fact that I don't have an uppercase set of dyes because this entire pack of thickers, there are no uppercase letters in it, so we'll be just fine. Anyway, so I got these. I also got two more Catherine Puller inks because you know the 50 I have already isn't enough. I got Grass Skirt, whoops, and Something Borrowed um, because look at that, <laughs> right? I needed them in my life. I have that pink already, so that's cool. All right, 
Let's talk about the next line that I got. So this is uh, the Garden of Books from P13. A um, couple of things about this specific collection and why I bought it. Number one, I designed a set of sequins for Spiegelmann scraps that are being released in March. Now, Jody Shipment got hung up with all the postal service stuff, so they're not ready to ship yet. As soon as they are, you will know because I will be yelling it from the rooftops. But the sequin mix that I designed matches this collection perfectly. I designed it to match this collection. Um, so there's that. The other thing is uh, one of the Life Crafted albums, I've been watching a lot of people like Sabrina Poole and Hibba and um, a couple others that are doing book journals. And I think that that's awesome. I've never done a book journal before and I am a huge, enormous book person. Um, now, I don't have a lot of free time to read, but I read quite often. And I've decided to start a Life Crafted, one of my Life Crafted albums is going to be a book journal. So um, I bought my collection so that I bought this stuff and I have to start my book journal now, <laughs> right? Right, okay. Also, I just, I do tend to document a lot of books and reading things as a homeschool family, as, um, you know, a, a reader myself. Books are kind of around me a lot. So I got this collection and I'll have new sequins coming soon. So let's go through the 12 by 12 papers. Um, so what I really love about P13 is, and, and the reason I was like, okay, for a book journal, this will be perfect. So the... Life Crafted album is about five inches, right? Yeah. And if I measured this out right, which I'm pretty sure I did, we're going to get to about five and a half. So it's going to come here or it'll come to this side. But these, um, these types of papers with these fun illustrations, I can be careful about how I cut the small ones down and it will make really quick, really easy pages in my book journal. So this is paper number one and this is the back of it. Isn't that yellow? Beautiful. But I thought that I could really utilize some of these kind of more illustrative types of um, pages in something like a book journal. So this is number two, but again, the back. Like, look at those colors. They're beautiful, right? Ah, and I'm not a super bright person. I tend to go more towards the watercolory kind of mellow things, but again, for a book journal, this is perfect. So this one is, I'll say this, and then the back is this beautiful green. I really love this collection, you guys. I just wanna dig into these colors. And even if you don't do books, but if you are a boy mom, these are the boy colors. These are the masculine colors. These are the ones you want. They're not super dark and muddy and, you know, they're like bright and fresh and not, um, not too, um, not too grungy. If you're not, you know, sometimes I do grungy, but not most of the time. I tend to go for the elegant and the whimsical, and this is a really, really nice color palette for that. Um, so this is a Garden of Books number four. Love this, love it. And then the back is just this alphabet. Again, so good. Um, this one is the number three. This is the cut apart. So um, you've got two four by six cards. You've got some three by four cards down here. You've got some four by fours right here. So cute and fun. Okay, and the back is the potted plants, which I don't really like all that much. So perfect that the other side's a cut apart sheet. This is um, the Garden of Books number six, and I love this one. Again, really light and cute. And then the back is stunning. I love this little alphabet kind of flying up in the air. That's awesome. This is the fussy, fussy cutting sheet. So this one is intentionally made. You fussy cut all these little bits and bobs and you know that that's my jam. And then the other side, again, with this fun little really tone on tone, but also good paper. And if you've never had P13 paper, it is super thick and nice. So super thick and nice. And this is the next 
collection. So we're not gonna get into yet. <laughs> My sister came up here and she went through all the stuff I bought, but I think she mixed it up a bit. And I had it all separated. Then I got the six by six paper pad. Again, some more cut apart pieces. All the papers, all the cut apart pieces just shrunk down. And this is gonna be so pretty. I just, I love this collection. I cannot wait to get started. Two of the cardstock, there are three cardstock sticker sheets in the collection. I did order all three. Two of them haven't arrived at the shop yet. So I'll have two more sticker sheets when I go ahead to kind of work with this kit. Although maybe not because I'm almost wanting to work in it today. But then again, I'm almost wanting to work in with all of this stuff today. So these are the little circle stickers. And then there's two more sheets of cardstock stickers that come with the collection. I bought the stamp, so I haven't used P13 stamps yet. This will be my first time. Um, they're photopolymer stamps, which is really good. So they're not like, they're not, um, they're the nice, they're not the mushy stamps. They're the nice, solid, good stamps. But um, I thought they were really, really cute. And they say stuff like, books are the friends you can't live to have too many. Books are like friends you can't have too many. I love books. Books to read. So I can make like a two, like books I want to read. This year, I was thinking about making myself a list. So I've already started reading books. Obviously, it's March. I'm on like my fifth or sixth book this year. But um, I do kind of keep a list on Goodreads of like, I kind of rate books as to where I want to read them. <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe I'll make myself a list of the books I want to read. And then I can, you know, I know what I'm going to read next. Does that make sense? Okay. Then there's a little one that says this book belongs to bookworm so cute okay then p13 always does like tons of tags these are a little smaller than some of their previous tag packages i do like that and then there seems to be more of them this seems to be a bigger collection than some of the other p13 collections i've worked with so i'm really happy about that too so this one i'm going to move this little lamp so maybe we can get less of a glare this one has a little like mail and a coffee cup mug, some greenery over here with a little book. So these are kind of like book plates. We have some lines here. The other thing I'm thinking that this I might print off and use this for are some school pictures because I'm always looking for school pictures that aren't um, all the primary colors mashed together. So maybe we'll go ahead and work with some school books because I did buy a lot of this. Okay. So I'm just showing you all the different packs. There are so many different decorative tags in the kit collection and honestly there's no like like when you go, even when you go in the shop, it just says decorative tags. So you kind of have to look at the picture of what's in the package because they all just say decorative tags. They're not specified. Okay, so these are round tags. So we have a little like planner. We have some eyeglasses and we have um, an open book. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry. I try to, I do these videos standing up in the hopes that you can see them because I look at my phone screen then a little bit better. Love that typewriter. That's a really cute one. Okay. So you can see some of them have holes, like they're more tag-like. Some of them do not. P13 always has some of the best illustrations, like the best illustrations. And I think these tags, the price point on them is like $2.99 a pack and they're not, they're not overflowing. They maybe have nine or 10 tags in them. So that's decent decent amount of product for not a crazy price. 
This one contains 10. I'm gonna show these all to you, because that way if you want some, you can head over to the shop, over to a cherry on top. Well, everything's still in stock and grab it. Okay, so those, that one. La 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 la. I did warn you to get a drink. This is cute. So these look like they all have holes in them. So that's pretty good. Books and coffee. Who could ask for anything more? And these mid-century modern chairs. Oh, they're so cool. I love a good mid-century modern vibe. Really do. This one's really cute, once upon a time. And this one says, Keep calm and read more. All right, and this is the last pack of tags. So tags, 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 tags. Okay, this one has seven tags of it, but these tags are a bit like, bigger. Okay, so we have potted plants. We have a stack of books with some coffee on top. We have this little typewriter and the foliage. We have this one, which is some fun little like letters and foliage. This one. So cute. We have this one. And then we have this one. So those are the tags. That's the fourth pack of tags. Okay, so that's the Garden of Books. I got all of it except for... Um, I didn't get the like the traveler's notebook inserts because I don't need them. Um, and I didn't get the two extra things of stickers. They just haven't come yet. So that's that. Okay, now let's go to the next part. Next up, we have Prima's watercolor of floral line. I am a Prima girl. <laughs> kind of love them. So, um, yeah, Prima is kind of my jam most of the time. So I tend to really love their stuff and they knocked it out of the park with their releases for January. I think they have four, or four or five different lines. All of them are stunning and it took all of my willpower not to get all four or five of those lines because they're all beautiful. Um, I chose two. <laughs> I was a very good girl and chose two. The first one I chose was this watercolor floral. See, see, I have shopping restraint. Let me tell you, because. I think the only collection from American Crafts uh, I'm probably going to buy at some point is uh, Paige Evans Wonder. So if you're curious, I know American Crafts lines are always, you know, the ones that everyone kind of goes to first. Um, I'm not that person, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes one captures me and has my heart and I love it and then I buy it all. Like um, Amy Tangerine's what was that one? The fall one that came out. Love that one. As I fight with the sticker. Okay, so this is the paper pad. This is the watercolor floral six by six paper pads. And I'm just gonna kind of flip through here. So Prima lines, here's how they work. There's not a ton of paper designs, right? So I think there's only mm, I don't know, maybe half a dozen sheets of pattern designs 
in Prima's. So when you buy a paper pad, like a six by six paper pad, you're getting four or five of each pattern, which is really nice. And the pages are double-sided. So like this one, and then look at that background. Um, so we have this one, flowers, and then the background. And this is the front and the back. I feel like I was really true to the style to my style when I went shopping for the new releases like that. Um, the Simple Stories Cottage Fields line and the P13, A Garden of Books and the Prima Collections. I think I was very true to my style and the things that I really, really love. Um, and I didn't, I didn't um, just go for everything, right? Okay. I say that, but I have one more, two more shipments from a chair on top coming. So there will be more haul videos. Okay. So this paper is Dreamy Florals. So this one is Cut Up Hearts. And then this back is a beautiful background. And I generally got two of everything because. Look. And. If you buy the papers in the paper pad, they are flat papers. If you buy the papers one paper, like you buy them by the sheet, the papers are the same thickness, um, but the papers that come by the sheet have the gold foil on them. So I have this one to cut apart and then I have this one to be a background. I have this background, look how beautiful. And then the back are just these pretty kind of circle-y, splotchy things. Super cute. This one, I love how, like, so with most of their papers, like one side is like you have an image or an icon or something that can be fussy cut, and then the other side is generally something that is more of a background piece, which I think is just fabulous. And look at that foil. Like, you could fussy cut this. I personally probably will not um, because... I have all the ephemera that I'm gonna show you, but you could. And this is the back side. And this color, oh, this color, this like purpley blue color that's in a lot of collections and lines right now, I just love it. Um, okay, this one is called Watercolor Cards. It's a really fun, cute background. And then that's the back, I love this. That is so pretty. This one is really neutral on one side and then it has this beautiful pattern on the other side. This pattern is so good, you guys. <laughs> like that pattern just, I, I don't wanna use it as a background, but it's so fabulous, love it. And then this last one, I just got one of these, mostly because I wasn't really loving this, this leaf pattern, but I did really like the blue background. So those are all the 12 by 12 papers and the six by six paper bats. So that's what I got for papers. So Prima went ephemera crazy with these new lines. So there are three, not one, not two, but three different ephemera packs in this watercolor floral collection. So I got the stickers. The stickers have two sheets of stickers they're just really little stickers. They're super cute. They are very small. Um, they're more for like the last little bits. They're not for like tucking or big, big clusters. They're more for like the end of your clusters. Same with the puffy stickers. Super cute though. Um, so there are all the puffy stickers. And then the ephemera. <laughs> so I think in the shop, they are literally called like floral ephemera one, floral ephemera two. And there's no, it just says floral ephemera <laughs> on here. So you, if you like one of the three, you might have to look at the, really closely at the pictures. But there are three ephemera packs with this collection. And they are all beautiful. You can never have too many flowers. I mean, you can 
never have too many flowers. I'm telling you. It's a thing. Okay. So I love these blues. Love these greens. I'm going to lay these all out. And then what I'm going to do is once I have opened all of these up and laid them all out for you, when I put them away, I am putting them all into one bag and mixing them all together. I'm just going to keep them separate for the purposes of this video. This video has been going for so long that it's dark already. It's dark. I'm probably going to have to take a break and go eat dinner. But not yet. Love those. Those are beautiful. I love this blue. Oh, I cannot get enough of this blue and this bluey purple color. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm so excited because I keep seeing it um, in different new products that are coming out, which makes me super excited. So let me know in the comments down below what new collections you've seen that you like, that you're really excited to have. Um, I have Pink Fresh Studios Some Days coming because Kelly Perky designed it and um, Paper Person Kelly Perky, I kind of love her. So I knew that that was a must buy for sure. And um, I'm just gonna lay these out. And then uh, Cherry on Top just started carrying Alt New. So I used a little bit of my design team credit and went ahead and got some Alt New dies from their shop. When you think, just when you think one of your favorite all-around craft stores can't get any better, right? So. Um, I am getting some Sunkissed eventually from Christina at Redefined Creative. That probably won't be for a while yet. Probably won't be until I've used all this up and I'm ready for new stuff. Look at these blueies and purples that are so pretty. I love it. Those big roses. Oh, big roses, guys. I'm just chit-chatting at you. Don't mind me. So many. I love this. Okay, so when you look at this pack of ephemera, first of all, all these watercolors are, like, amazing. But if you've ever, um, I, when I talk about making clusters, like when I talk to you guys about creating clusters and I'm, like, let's make some clusters. So, large, medium, small, sprinkles, right? Watch. Large, medium, small, little sprinkles, Little cluster leaves. Done. Right? Like done. All the different color, all the different sizes that you need to make beautiful floral clusters are contained right here in this ephemera pack. Another reason why Prima rocked their new releases this year. Okay. Next one. That's right. There's three. I do love ephemera. Don't like chipboard. Love ephemera. Okay. And I can already tell that this is going to be the same thing because look, we have these little ones falling out of the package. Okay. So pretty. Start again. I'm just going to lay them all out so you can see. And I wish I could tell you when you go into the shop, which ephemera pack was which, but they don't have them labeled on, I mean, they're not packaged that way. It's not anyone's fault, just that's the way it is. So, but what I can tell you is that they say like, like these say floral ephemera. So these are the flowers. And then they have other ones that say like, you know, another kind of ephemera. These appear to be smaller than the first pack. You'll also notice that this ephemera has more leaves 
and more of the greens and the blues and the dark teals and less of the pink, which makes me happy. Not because I don't love pink, but again, for my, for those of us that have boys at home and our boys like um, masculine things, then you want them to have, you want to scrapbook them with more masculine products. I personally tend to like them better, so. <laughs> There you go. And it's my scrapbook. So. Anyway, so beautiful, right? Okay, love this. Love it, love it, love it. This would be really, really nice for any kind of like outdoor type pictures or photos or So oh, pretty. Ugh. So this is definitely, you can definitely see that there's a difference between the two floral packs in the style of flower and in um, the color and design of the flowers, which I'm really happy with because I was wondering if they were going to be just like the same. Does that make sense? Like, are they going to be too similar to each other that you wouldn't need to buy them both. But now that I'm opening them up and looking at them, I can say with a great deal of certainty that that is not the case. And again, we have our large, we have our mediums, we have our smalls, we have our confetti. Awesome. And I think I'm gonna have to go and come back. This is definitely the first haul video where I had to stop go eat dinner and then come back. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so this is the third ephemera pack. This is like ephemera pack three, but this one doesn't have, it's not all flowers. So it's more like icons and images from the collection. It's not all flowers. So it's a little different than the floral ones. So that says be yourself. And this is a little bow, how cute. And an arrow with some florals. This one says true beauty, which is lovely. The best adventure. You make me smile even when I'm not with you. I like that, that's very nice. Cute little postage stamp. All about the little things. This is adorable. It's like a little ticket tag. Butterfly, birdhouse. So we have this cute little banner piece next. This fox, which is just adorable. This little ticket that says dreamer. Some cute little floral stationery. This is really cute, it says you have what it takes. These are, um, I'm loving the phrases in this. It's a little bit unusual, not the normal, like best day ever stuff. Love that. I love these little tickety things. I have a clock. I have this little moth. Another bow, super cute bow. Flower. This is a little weird. Let me tuck this one under some stuff. I don't know about that crown. <sighs> this one says, do what makes your soul, sh soul shine. I like that. That's pretty. This little flask. And then we have this lovely cluster and the little butterfly. So lots and lots. There's a little bit less in this ephemera pack. This ephemera pack isn't as large as the floral ones, but it's super cute and I'm really happy with it. But wait, there's more. So this is the second line that I got from Prima. This is the Nature Lover collection. So again, I got the six by six paper pad and I'm gonna sit here and mess with this stinking sticker. 
this video is so long, you guys. If you guys have gotten this far, gold star for you. And if you are a lover of haul videos, you're having a blast right now. <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. All right. Okay. There we go. Same thing as the others that I told you about. So we have some, so there's like, you know, four of the same papers. They're all double-sided. This one, again, has a little bit more of a masculine feel to it. Just a little bit, nothing outrageous. I definitely scrapbook my boys with this collection. Love that paper. Okay, so that's the 6x6 paper pad. And then these are the patterns. So we have, again, if you buy them as a loose sheet, you'll get the gold foil. If you buy them as a paper pad, you'll get four of every design, but it won't have the foil on it. So love both of these sides. I feel really, I just, they're beautiful. This butterfly one. So part of me wants to fussy cut this, right? Because of these beautiful butterflies, but I'm not going to because then I'd lose all that beautiful floral detail and I really love that. The back side, and again, we have front and back sides that um, work well. I just love, love Prima. They, I'm telling you, they knocked it out of the park with these collections. And if they stay in stock at a cherry on top, I feel like I might need the other two that I, I decided to pass on. Um, but for now, we're good. So this one, I love this nature look. I just, I think it's beautiful. I love these colors. Oh, guys. Oh, beautiful. This one, I must have only gotten one of this. I did. So I got one sheet of this one. I'm not really quite sure why. Or maybe it's just under here somewhere. But no, it's not. I really only did just get one of these, okay? So this one has the birds on one side and this green floral on the other. This one ha is that beautiful fern pattern and you can see like the gold, the foil detail on it is beautiful. And then the back is just a really light yellow. Love it. And I did get two of these. So this is the second kind of cut apart sheet. And then the back is that beautiful stripe. So that's the Nature Lover collection. So the papers and the six by six pad. And then these are the puffy stickers. I got the puffy stickers. I got these butterflies. They're a bit more on the dimensional side. So they are quite kind of thick and chunky, but they're so Oh, beautiful and I had to have them I mean there's no other word for it there's no I mean they have some foil they're beautiful colors I just I thought that they just they struck me and I had to have them they're beautiful so just like with the watercolor florals the um nature lover collection has a multiple ephemera packs and they're the same way in the shop like there's no telling what which is what and what is which and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open them up for you both so you can see what's in them. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, mix them all together when I make my projects. So let's go ahead and open these up. So we have birds, we have beautiful, I know, 
if my friend Alex watches this, she's going to look at this line, this nature level line, and go, because <gasps> she's scared of birds and she doesn't like them. But, ugh, I have no problems with birds. And my oldest, my youngest son is a bird watcher, and he loves them. So, you know, I will have plenty of pages that will be fine with birds. So pretty. This line kind of reminds me of the simple story, that simple vintage line that was all the outdoorsy stuff. The colors are very similar, and I'm actually wondering how they would mix together. If my son, my youngest son, if he happens to come in here, I'm gonna ask him to look at the birds because I bet he would tell you what kind of birds they are. Oh, that one's pretty. I have birds in here. You should come look and tell me what kind of birds these are. Tell my subscribers what kind of birds these are, if you know. Do you recognize any of those birds? We have to do some bird watching so I can take some pictures for scrapbooking birds. Oh, I know what that is. What's that? What are they? I can't remember what they're called. Oh, that's okay. Love these hearts. Check these hearts out, guys. Oh, they have like this fun grid pattern and they have foil. This one says rise and shine. So cute. Love those. Do you know what those are? Those are cool looking. We have birds to look up. I'm trying to remember what that thing is called. Oh, okay. This says, gentle, kind, patient, and strong. So again, beautiful icons. Um, I like that it's not, there's more, some more unusual wording in here. Unusual for scrapbooking. You know what I mean, wording. So, and then this is our second one. And there's these tiny little leaves. Oh, so cute. Okay, and this one, put that here. This is whatever number two. This is the second ephemera pack. Maybe I'm too slow. Maybe I'm like this. that's why this takes so long. Because <laughs> I really go through like everything really slowly with you. So this is Nature Vibes. Super cute. Another bird. These this might be my favorite of the two ephemera packs because look at these lovely sized little tuckies. That's what we're calling them. That's what Shamal calls them. So that's what I'm going to call them. Like little tuckies. So cute. It's a frame and then you can pop out the bird and the butterfly. Look at the little chipmunk. And I love how this collection has a different feel than the other one. So not all of the new Prima collections look the same. They all have a really different kind of vibe. Like this is definitely much more outdoorsy. And the other one's definitely like more whimsical and watercolory. So super happy with these two collections. Stay wild at heart. That sounds like a page. That sounds like something that would go in my the little monkey's page that's behind me. And he left because I was boring him. He's interested in the birds though. There's a bird. There's a bug. Gotta love bugs. Little fern. This says loving this in a gold foil. Some greenery some little floral cards I love these cards right those are really cool and they're such a nice size a mushroom I do enjoy a good mushroom some pretty butterflies more birds Alex stop cringing it's okay it's just a bird on a sheet of paper 
happiness blooms from within. Oh, that's a good one. Wonderful. Little cards. Love the butterflies. I love all these little birds. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them and they're so cute. Let's just go outside. Together is better. So many smiles. And then this says field notes, which would be, this would be a really great journaling spot. Okay, so I only have one more thing to show you. We have come to the end. Maybe you could go back to the beginning and play a drinking game with this video. Every time I say cute, have a shot. That would make it so much better. All right, this is the last thing I got. So the last thing I got was this Alon Fawn Perfectly Pad Plaid Collection mix. So I actually ordered this uh, because I wanted to use it to build some how to kill it with styles. How to kill a kit how to kill a kit with style, some kits off of. I want to kind of mix it and match it. So I'm going to, I might use some of it this month, but I'm definitely going to be using it to mix and match in with some other things because I do love a good plaid. And I do have a niece that her pictures just make me want to pull out the plaid. So this is called Kristen. This is called Ivy. I think you get two of each of these. And the little board strips are little hearts. This is called Nadia. This is called Jessica. This one is called Nancy. Oh, I do like Nancy. This is called Lynette, and I do like Lynette too. And then you get another one of all of them. So those are the patterns, the plaids that you get. And these are just really great mix-in um, papers. Papers to mix in with your stash. Like I said, I pretty much ordered this uh, more to use with my How to Kill a Kit with Style and to mix and match some patterns with those. So that is my haul. If you got to the end, you get a gold star. All of you, you get a gold star. Um, so if you're interested in any of these beautiful new products over at, um, a cherry on top, go get some Prima, go get some Prima. Um, you can find a link to the shop down below. Happy shopping. Have a wonderful day. Bye.